Hello everybody, I am back. Um, I apologize for my hiatus. Uh, it's been a really rough year, but I am Drew of Drewcifer's, now called again, Idiocracy. Um, I just felt like um, changing the name was just, shouldn't have done it. I did it on a whim, and um, I know people hate the name, but this is what I want to call my channel. I'm sticking to it. Anyways, um, I will not bore you with how much my last year uh, of my life was usually a nightmare, but um, I have gotten to the point where I accept things for how they are, and I am now doing a lot better. So um, I moved a couple times. I moved from Louisville back to Oklahoma, which most of you are aware of. Um, I then tried to stick it out and get sober, um, but it didn't work out. I went to treatment over the summer. Um, I tried two different sober livings before I, before I went to treatment, and I just couldn't stay sober because I was so unhappy with myself and how my life was. Um, I couldn't accept life on life's terms. Bum, 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 bum. Anyways, I, um, um, oh, for, I forgot to show you my new hairstyle. I have a little baby man bun. Anyways, sorry, I just saw it in the in the video, and I have ADHD, so, you know. Um, anyways, I then went to treatment for three months after those two sober livings, um, and I got out uh, and immediately relapsed. And um, no, wait, that's when I relapsed in treatment and uh, got kicked out. And I lived on the streets for a while in Enid, Oklahoma. Fun, fun. If you've ever been there, I don't know why you would. And um, promise me, all of you, all of you, that you will never go. Because you're not missing much. Um, but anyways, I found myself um, wanting to go back to treatment again. So I did. And this time I went to treatment in California. And um, it was it was good at first. Um I was there with a lot of Oklahomans, which kind of um, hurt my feel feels because I wanted to be in treatment with real Californians who didn't give a crap about anything. You know, I don't mean like that way, just a very laid back and um, very gung ho attitude of can do. Um, you know, so I dealt with a lot of negativity. And um, after a while, I relapsed again and again. And they sent me to a different treatment center to get sober. Um, I stuck that one out. It was in Palm Springs, California, and I relapsed upon immediate, immediately upon getting out and uh, went right back to a different treatment center. There's a place called Michael's House in Palm Springs. If anybody knows anybody who needs help, um, I highly recommend Michael's House in Palm Springs. Um, they are very gay affirming, but you don't have to be gay to, to go there. It's just the the likelihood of them being surrounded by, by gay people is likely. So um, just know that in case anybody <laughs> that needs help out there um, wants to go, but um, you know, you're not fabulous enough. <sighs> um, anyways, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. It's a great place. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I loved it. Um, <clears throat> After getting out of there, I decided to move back to Louisville. So I am actually sitting in my sober living in Louisville, Kentucky. Here's my room. I don't have a roommate yet. Um, he should be getting here today. Um, I already have a house um, responsibility of being in charge of scheduling interviews for people to get into the house and um, to update the website to show how many vacancies we have uh, in our exam in an Oxford house it's like the Oxford group back in the day when um, Bill W uh, who in, wrote the big book of AA of Alcoholics Anonymous um, uh, was trying to get sober there were the Oxford groups that would sit people down and lecture them. And so it's named after that group in honor of the work that they did um, during that time. Um, but now Oxford houses are sober living or kind of like a halfway house, whatever you want to call it. And it's a good way um, 
to get your life back on track, having the structure, having responsibilities, but being um, independent. You know, you have to get a job. Like, they're not going to breathe down your neck, but, you know, you have to kind of be self-driven. And there's one thing I will say, the being homeless so much over, over the last year has really made me a lot more self-driven. I've only been in town a week and a half. Excuse me. And um, I, I don't know, I've gotten stuff done. And if you've noticed, I'm not cussing as much as I used to because I don't feel the need to fill my language with cuss words to make um, a point. Especially, I know since so many of you who crochet and watch my channel um, do not like the cussing, um, you know, it's, they might it might slip every now and then, but I've caught myself at least three times from saying it since I've started this video. So um, I'm really happy uh, for all those who have stuck around and uh, will be here to watch this video. I haven't even looked at my analytics to see how many subscribers I still have. Um, but if you are here and you're watching this, thank you for sticking out my inability to deal with life on life's terms and sit and be happy and just accept things as they are. Um, I do have some crochet projects to show you. Um, give me just one second. I didn't actually have this prepared, so enjoy the picture of, or the view of my bathroom and a dresser that doesn't have anything in it. <laughs> okay, well, um, I had my afghan in here, but you guys have seen the afghan that I'm that I'm working on now. Um, you might not remember it, but it was a corner to corner, um, and I'm and I grabbed it out of my whips, and um, it's going going really good. I've I've gotten about this much of it done in the last the last week. So, uh, but I made this hat, and I'm not putting this hat on, but it's a stocking cap that my that my sis a pattern that my sister made. It's a slouchy hat, so it sits back like that on the back so that's why it's so long you don't you don't flip up the the um, the end of it and I here's another one of, of that same project but just with different yarn um, here I'll get it up there yeah this one's very early on I have such project ADHD that I cannot keep keep my it's about me and not have a thousand projects going at one time but this one is made with the purple and the I think I forgot the name of the color on Hopium's website because I got these from Hopium but it's the Lamia Angora and it's in this I'm, I'm alternating this purple and this ice blue the first hat was made with this Kartapu, whoops, I always forget everything is backwards, this Kartapu, um, ooh, that's my phone, I'm gonna have to end this video pretty soon so I can call my friend back, he's in California and he went to the same place as me, so uh, he sent me something for my birthday, um, which was a month ago, but we were in treatment together, and so he sent me something, um, and it was really nice of him. It was actually, one of them was these socks. Ooh. So, um, anyways, this Kartapu Bamboo Sakura is, is what I use for the blue hat. Um, it is 49% bamboo, 51% acrylic, and I got this also at Hobium, and they have a great variety in colors in all of these. Uh, yarns. Um, so I highly, highly recommend. And I'm not saying this to look for a sponsorship from them. I'm saying this because all the yarn that I've used from them has been amazing. Um, so anyways, I just wanted to make this short video to say I'm back. I've missed you. And I Hope that you like the new vibe of my channel. Um, I'm not as uh, crazy. <laughs> I 
no offense to anybody who finds that term of offensive, um, but I was. I, I've gone back and watched old videos, um, not recently, but I mean like about a year ago, and that's kind of why I quit making the videos, because I just felt like I was acting like a fool. But um, I'm going to take this in a new direction. I will talk about crochet. I will talk about addiction. And um, hopefully I can be an inspiration to somebody out there. To, if I help one person, I've done my job. So um, if it's helping you learn to crochet, if it's helping you want to learn to crochet, if it's helping you to want to seek treatment, to want to seek go into a meeting, and... Um, I um yeah I just I really am passionate about both of these topics, but um, I'm gonna keep the name of Drusiver's Idiocracy because um, it's just easier to say at the beginning of the video because <laughs> um, I actually I forgot what I had changed it to so it's it's gonna be changed back to to Drusiver's Idiocracy by the time this video gets posted so. Um, I am glad um, to be making videos again, and I will try to do a little short video daily and maybe do like a long one here or there like uh, to show you how to make this hat because it's my sister, like I said, my sister made this pattern, so um, I'll, uh, and it's, it's, stretched, it's stretched out like that because I have a humongous noggin. It does not actually crochet that you add stitches or anything. Um, it's just my head is huge, and uh, I stretched it out. But it, it's an awesome pattern, and I'll be very happy to share it with you sometime in the future whenever I have a lot of time to edit videos and do it in a way that shows what I'm doing instead of me just sitting here going, okay, and then you do this, 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 and this. Because, um, yeah, I don't, I, yeah, I don't know anything about making tutorials, um, like what kind of camera to use and... Um, and stuff like that because they're always pausing and it still is the same video so I don't know if they're using video editing or if it's just pausing the video and there's no way to pause um, on my on my um, camera here so it might just be like you know like a three hour long video of me making a hat and probably talking so um, I'm happy to do that but at the same time no one will watch it <laughs> Anyways, um, God is God is beautiful. God is great, and I'm blessed to be sober today. Um, I have twenty one days. The twenty fourth, yes, I have twenty one days. So um, I am doing great, and I'm happy that I'm alive. So I'm happy you're all alive, and I hope you feel happy that you're all alive too, because life is good. We can do this. I have faith in you. All right. For now, it's toodaloo. Bye.